hi there. You may notice there's actually one more person on stage with us who's, who's neither Alison Owen nor Faye Ward, and that is our wonderful Kerry Mulligan, who's in a rather unorthodox move. We decided to bring her on first because she's got to dash off quickly. She's got a small baby, and so we wanted to say hello and, uh, and thank you to Kerry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I can't stay. I do have to rush off. I hope, uh, I wish I could be here to stand with all these amazing women, but I really hope you enjoy the film and, and we're so excited for you to see it. Thank you very much. We made this film because we felt this story needed to be told. Because in the hundred years since the fight to get women the vote, the story of the suffragettes remained obscured. We felt it was vital for everyone to be reminded how fragile our rights, women's rights, are and how easily we can take them for granted. This film tells the story of how recent and hard-won these rights are. For many women in many parts of the world, and indeed in our own country, the fight continues. We'd like to thank Pathé, Film 4, the BFI, Ingenious and Focus Features for their belief and support in the project, without which it would never have been made. To Claire Stewart, for selecting us to open the festival, it feels so fitting for the film to start its journey here. London is not only where we shot the film, but is where our story is set. The suffragettes protest on these very streets, chaining themselves to railings and government buildings, just to get a very basic human right, to have their voices acknowledged and heard. We stand here as a team of women, owing so much to their courage, determination and sacrifice, all of our fantastic cast and crew who are here tonight channeled and nourished the spirit of those brave women whose shoulders we stand on in so many ways today. I introduce you to our director, Sarah Gavron. Thank you. It's a real honour to be showing this film at the London Film Festival. Thank you, Claire. It took a long time to make this film, a hundred years to get the film onto the story onto the big screen. It felt like hundred years. Did, yeah. um, ten years I'd wanted to make it for, and, and I worked for six years with these fantastic producers and the tenacious and extraordinary, inspiring, brilliant screenwriter who waded her way through a huge amount of material and came up with the beating heart of the story, Abby Morgan. <laughs> No, I'm mean, not allowed to say anything. <laughs> but in the audience, we've got so many of the key creative team out there. Fiona Weir, casting, Edu Grau, Alison Normington, Jane Petrie, Harriet Lawrence, Krista Cowman, Barney Pilling. And I'd like to invite onto the stage Alexander Desplat, who's our composer, who's here behind the scenes with us. Alexander, are you coming? <laughs> so, <laughs> here he is. Thank you. And now turning to our network of core suffragettes. Well, Carrie, you glimpsed. Um, we were so excited to have her. We thought of her for the six years of development. Thankfully, she agreed. And then alongside her, we built this cast of wonderful women. Um, Edith Ellen, played by Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> And Violet Miller, played by Anne-Marie Duff. <laughs> we had some important men in the film, too. Um, out there is Sam West and I think Jeff Bell. And here I'd like to invite up the brilliant and wonderful and supportive Brendan Gleeson and Ben Wishaw. <laughs> Who am I going to now? <laughs> so, when we were write, working on the script and Abby was writing it, it was really the story of the foot soldiers of the movement, but we did have um, a role for Emmeline Pankhurst. And out in our audience, we have another really important person who helped in the film, which is Helen Pankhurst and her daughter, Laura, who were the great-granddaughter of Emmeline Pankhurst and great-great-granddaughter of Emmeline Pankhurst, who we're very grateful to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and
And we have one sequence in the film where Emmeline Pankhurst lights up the lives of the women and we contemplated for a long time who could play this iconic role, this small but vital part. We wanted an icon to play an icon. Carrie Mulligan suggested Meryl Streep and we thought, do we dare? And we did, and here she is. <laughs> So they were the, the best team I could have ever dreamed of, and it was a huge collaboration. Thank you all, and over to the film. <laughs>